Welcome everybody to the Inquisitive Engineer. On this episode, I'd like to discuss the physics and the immense forces that the Titan Submersible experienced in its trip to the Titanic this week. Unfortunately, it suffered a catastrophic implosion. And why is the implosion so catastrophic? I think it's hard to comprehend just how much force that Titan Submersible had to resist at 13,000 feet under the sea. For starters, Air pressure at sea level is only about 14.7 pounds per square inch. The average adult body has about 3,000 square inches, and if we multiply 3,000 square inches by 14.7 pounds, as we are sitting here right now, me recording this video and you watching this video, there's about 40,000 pounds of force on my body. Now we are accustomed to this and our internal portion of our body is exerting an equal amount of force out and that's why we don't feel that is a pressure on our body. What is the source of this 14.7 pounds per square inch of atmospheric pressure at sea level? Well, it's the tens of miles of air molecules above our head that are exerting force into each molecule below it, much like a stack of bricks. As you continue to stack bricks, everyone below it has to support the weight of the bricks above it. This same principle of stacking bricks also works for calculating pressure underwater. Water is about one gram per cubic centimeter or 0.0361 pounds per cubic inch. The Titanic sits about 13,000 feet below sea level. And if I multiply that 13,000 feet by 12 inches per foot, there's about 150,000 inches of water above the Titanic. And I can go ahead and multiply that by our 0.0361 pounds per cubic inch to come up with approximately 5,400 PSI of pressure at the depth where the Titanic is. Now that may not seem like a lot, but the palm of my hand is about 10 square inches. The water is exerting 5,400 pounds per square inch. So at the depth of the Titanic, the amount of force on just the surface of my palm is going to be over 50,000 pounds. Now, water at depth and being a fluid, it's actually going to push all around. So if my palm was just two-dimensional, It'd be pushing with 50,000 pounds of force this way and 50,000 pounds of force this way. The Titan submersible is much, much, much bigger than the palm of my hand. While there's no exact dimensions given for the pressure vessel portion of the Titan, there have been some dimensions of the overall submersible. And based on those dimensions, I'm going to estimate that the actual pressure capsule is probably about six feet in diameter and maybe around 15 feet long. The pressure vessel is shaped somewhat like this pill capsule where it's a round cylinder in the middle and two hemispherical ends. So I can go ahead and do some calculations for the surface area by taking the surface area for a cylinder six feet in diameter by nine feet long and the surface area of a sphere that is six feet in diameter and add the two together. And it turns out that there's over 40,000 square inches on the outside surface of the pressure vessel. If I multiply that 40,000 square inches by the 5,400 PSI that the ocean is exerting on the pressure vessel, it comes out to over 220 million pounds of force was being exerted on that pressure vessel. That is just absolutely mind boggling. As long as the pressure vessel is structurally sound, everything is okay. The problem comes in if a defect is formed or if a crack is formed. This is very, very bad. And the easy way you can understand this is if you've ever tried to open a bag of chips and you are struggling with all your might and you just cannot get it open, that you resort to taking your teeth and just biting in the tiniest little 
crack or defect in that bag. And now all of a sudden, it's just so easy to pull that tear apart and it just keeps going and going and going. This would be the same thing that would happen on the Titan Submersible if something became compromised. One tiny crack would instantaneously unzip and open up and that 220 million plus pounds of force would rush inward. That's why they say the implosion is instantaneous. It happens so quickly because the force is so extreme and you're moving such little mass inward that it accelerates so quickly that the human brain could never possibly register what happened. And this is based on Newton's laws of physics where force equals mass times acceleration. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay curious.